What's up guys, it's your adorable boy Enzo and I'm here to guide you adorable homies on how to be an efficient partner. First off, you have to understand that love is the name of the game. No, really, since it's the game's currency. Adorable home is mostly an idle game. You don't have to do much except give love to your cat, your significant other, and every other living being in game. With that being said, you can play some mini games with your cats which include petting, nail cutting, and bathing your cats. In my experience in the petting mini game, stroking the cat leans towards the more random area. There's no definite place where your cat would like to get petted. I know right? Wah! But for the other mini games, here are some tips you can make your loving experience much more productive. Initially, one would swipe from left to right when cutting nails of their adorable feline friend. But this isn't an efficient way of going at it. It would be much quicker to rapidly tap between claws that you desire to cut, saving time and pain for everyone. For bath time, this requires more timing and smart positioning. What I recommend is laying your phone flat on whatever flat surface you have and tilting it accordingly to the perfect temperature. When it lands on the green zone, that's your signal to move the shower head above the cat. After that, quickly move it to the side again when you complete a heart. The temperature would usually spike towards the red, so quickly counter it with a tilt to the left. Rinse and repeat the previous step. And next up, you have to understand the bento meal is a must for your significant partner in the game. Don't forget about preparing a bento meal for your spouse before they go to work because it gives a pretty good amount of love. Each combination produces different amounts of love, so try to being creative with the combination. The food looks super yummy too, which may give you an idea what your next meal would be and also same goes for cats as well each meal has a different cooldown depending on its price love points earned from cats range from 18 to 35 you can consider this as a primary source of income especially if you're a player who can't frequently drop by to pet the feline friends but still would like to buy that expensive piano set for the living room my next tip is that you should collect as much cats as you can if you want to earn more love points at a faster rate consider buying all the cats in the shopping menu each cat costs a hefty amount of love but honestly who wouldn't want more adorable kitties living in their living quarters? I know I do. If this seems to be a lot of work for you, you could always buy love with real money. But if you're not really interested in spending money, you could always go for the 20 to 30 second video ad in every minigame. It doubles the number of love points that you earn. It's time consuming but hey, at least it's free. When you finally have the yarn rolling, try to unlock the garden and the bedroom as it will allow creatures to visit you from time to time. These creatures will also want to share their love with you. More space for more customization and personalization of course. This brings cute memories for you to capture. This game doesn't take too much time to maintain around 5 to 10 minutes of your time would be enough to go through everything. However, I'd like to note that it would be initially hard to grind for love items that you would like to purchase but earning love is never easy. This applies in real life as well. So what do you guys think? Share your thoughts in the comment section below and don't forget to like, subscribe, hit the bell icon and don't forget to visit yugatech.com gaming for more news, tips and tricks. It's your boy Enzo and stay safe.